All right, y'all, we are officially recording. This is NXM Community Call 21. I'm your host for today, Vandal, representing the NXM family. We've got the whole crew in the house. Much love for everybody for coming through for this call. Uh, today, we're going to keep it chill. Uh, we're going to get people who've had their pro uh, projects and events funded for January, get them to come up, uh, get on the mic, and share a little bit about what they're doing. Um, also, we're going to hear from most likely uh, Paul Kranz to talk about the Near Mixtape, which is happening later today, the launch for that. So I'll let Paul explain all that. We have new council members in the house, Monish and Paul, uh, as well, will be joining the NXM council. Um, yeah, and uh, anybody else who wants to kind of like ask a question or, you know, wants to share something can feel free to do so. Um, I think that I'm done with the introduction. So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll get new council to join. Uh, first, let's hear from Manish, and then we'll go to Paul. Manish, the mic is yours. And all, thank you. It was great. Uh, hey, fam. Uh, happy New Year again. Um, it's really been a pleasure to join this wonderful uh, NXM youth. Uh, I guess like uh, there is a more responsibility relevant us and whatever uh, Vandal taken us so far, uh, it should be brought up to a whole new level. I guess I have uh, Paul with me and uh, Alex will be uh, be part of this council. So I guess like most of my job would be a little easier for it. And uh, mostly I see the membership of the NXM, I guess. Um, I would like to have a more organized way how the NXM works with the proposal and the grant that has been provided. Uh, we'll have the, say, the council members will have uh, a new new a new method or uh, uh, to improve the existing method. If at all there is an uh, difficulty for the uh, artist to onboard into NXM or into the web free space, will really help us to do that. Uh, uh, so I'm active community player, so I'm there always online. You can ping me on there, Telegram, Discord, uh, near forum. I'm there like to support you guys. Thank you, Vandal. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. All right, Monish. Awesome, man. Thanks for thanks for mentioning the things that you have because I think that's really important for um, for all of the new council coming in to kind of have an idea of what they want to do. And I think that those are very important things which you just brought up is how to facilitate the process of a onboarding, b also how people apply for for funding and just kind of make getting the membership all structured. And these are definitely things that NXM needs, and we're happy to have you on to help facilitate that. Uh, Mr. Paul Kranz, let's get you up here. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Yeah, we got you. Okay, so hi, hello guys, uh, happy new year. So yes, I've been around uh, with NXM, so I just keep doing what I'm doing. But today I'm just quite busy with the near mixtape premiere. Uh, I just finished uh, this minting uh, on our store. And yes, the MA is coming. So everyone is welcome to join us. I hope everyone will do this. And yes, the party on the in the playground. So, yep, and I'm going to share with you soon the official store. And also, I see that we have uh, here some artists that are featured on the near mixtape. So, I will let you know, guys, about the payout for the near mixtape soon after the call, I guess. And yes, I'm quite, uh, quite excited about the future. Yes. The, I'm the near, yeah, I'm the council, so it's quite, it's quite how to say it. A hmm, few months ago, I haven't think about that, that I will be here, but yes, I'm ready to work and I want to work about uh, the whole of the level for the near, for the NXM. And yeah, we'll see. I hope that with the help of the community and the new council members, we will be able to do that. So, yep, that's everything from me, and 
guys remember near mixtape is today <laughs> thanks <laughs> yeah yeah much love mr paul kranz uh definitely leading the way through many of the various community affiliations uh from nxm be it the onboarding dao the beat dao um a lot of stuff is happening if you do if you're listening to this and you don't already know about the beat dao or, or even dj dao or onboarding dao i think that uh, it's a good opportunity now to to get a bit more involved um also we we just recently had the nxm live event which was uh, uh, postponed a little bit from end of december uh, that happened at the beginning of this month. Uh, and there will be another NXM live event at the end of this month. A lot of activities, a lot of things that are going on. Um, I noticed that, uh, Zeit Warp, aka Dan is just, uh, just got in to the call. Um, Dan, would you be interested in getting up and just, uh, saying a few words and saying what's up? Yeah. Hi guys. Um, happy to have a quick chat about. Obviously, I'll be stepping down from the council soon. Vandal asked me to join the council, well, I don't know when it was, last April sometime. And really, I've just been helping him out as he's done all the heavy lifting. And uh, I've been getting back to doing what I do the rest of the time, which is making uh, digital and physical art. And some of you might have seen some of my glitch break um, pieces that have been landing this week on Paris. And uh, Got to thank uh, Jeff Gold for picking one up, and also um, got to thank Vlad as well, the two that were picked up straight away. Um, so, yeah, I'm back doing that. I'll be helping out. I've got an update on the big band funding as well. Um, Fergus just phoned me, actually, which is why I was late getting in. Um, he's on his way down from Leeds again today, second time in a week to London. Um, they've got a studio session booked for the 21st, 24th of Feb. So uh, that's the first day they seem to be able to get everyone together. So it's still just going to drag out over the first quarter of the year before we actually get it done. But it shouldn't take too long. Once the recording's done, you know, they're, they're pretty self-sufficient at turning that into a track and, and getting it out there. So then it'll be down to me to teach them how to how to work with the NXM store and Mimbase. But, yeah, it's coming along and uh, we'll be applying for funding as a consequence this week. Um, well, the approved funding, we're actually putting the, the proposal into the DAO. But that's pretty much what I've been up to um, and uh, looking forward to hearing what the new council are up to. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Dan. Appreciate it. Um, we, we just had Manish and, and Paul up uh, talking. I'm not sure if um, if Alex is, is able to make the call. I, I think what's going to end up happening, and this is something that I had brought up in our uh, council chat, is maybe uh, we could do these two calls a month, one focused, you know, on people who are located more sort of on a, like uh, on the Western side of things. Uh, so it's easy if you're say on the West coast of the US, uh, you can attend and maybe over here to, to like uh, your Europe going UTC and, and uh, and Western European, Western African time. Uh, and then we can do a, uh, the second call focusing more on people who are sort of on the Asian Australian side, because, uh, you know, I think now it's like two o'clock in the morning, uh, for Alex over there in Australia. And, uh, I think that, you know, at least it, it allows us the opportunity, uh, to, to cater, uh, to people who are in different time zones and, and not try to force people into, to one time. Um, so that's something I think for, for next month that we can do. Uh, for this month, uh, the call is today, and then the next call will be in a couple weeks. I believe it's on a Tuesday, but uh, we'll we'll uh, post that up in the community chat uh, very soon uh, for people. Um, just just to note, um, you know, myself and Sidewarp will be stepping down from the NXM Council at the end of this month. So we're basically spending this whole month acclimatizing. Paul, Paul Kranz, Monish, and Alex into their new roles as uh, council leaders. And then I think we'll be discussing all of the various uh, elements of how it's going to move forward into February. What are the things that people will uh, kind of take care of um, and manage uh, as their uh, council duties? Um, Monish, I think you've already suggested 
the, the things that you are interested in focusing on. I know that Paul Kranz has been active uh, on sort of the uh, community engagement, let's say Telegram and like Twitter and, and, and uh, social media side. Um, you know, I think that it would be important, maybe Paul, if you're interested, I, I know that, uh, you know, Alex isn't on the call, um, but uh, the jobs that I've been doing, handling Telegram management and the Twitter, um, and also organizing the community calls, I think that can be shared between council. Um, and then lastly, I think the main thing is the monthly management of the reports and uh, the proposals. So that would be reporting, uh, you know, all of the things that happened from the month to creatives, as well as proposing the next month's funding round. Um, you know, I, it's pretty straightforward how, how it works in a governance forum. And, and I know Paul, you've already have that experience also Monish, as well as Alex, you guys already have experience using the governance forum. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, it's it's great already, you know, having been active in various DAOs and, and various guilds uh, that, you know, you, you're not going to have too much trouble uh, getting into the rhythm of things for NXM. And I'm, I'm really excited because, you know, every time we have this sort of a new leadership, it opens up the opportunity for NXM to go in new directions. And I think that this is something to share with all of our community members is that you, you're, you're uh, encouraged to participate in the governance of NXM. Your contribution to where NXM should go, your ideas that you have on, on what NXM should do, maybe what the various focuses should be. I think that it's important to, to know that as a community member, you're encouraged to share this and, and be active if you want to be. Uh, so the opportunities are there for community members to, to get more active. I think we're going to have a regular kind of turnaround for council, like maybe every six months we have new council rotating in. This is something I think that uh, the new council members coming in can think about as well as discuss with other active community members uh, who wanna get involved. So I, uh, with that said, um, I'm gonna open up the floor uh, to anybody who has had their proposal funded for this month, if they want to get on and share about their proposal, I think that it would be great. It would be wonderful to hear from the newer community members first, maybe Wiz Prince or, or Larkin. If you, if you want to get on first to share, that would be awesome. And the mic is open to you guys now. Hey, good evening. This is Larkin. Good evening, guys. So, um, my name is, let me introduce myself real quick. My name is Oyene Akim from Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, first of all, I would love to say a big thank you to the NXM family for, for believing in the vision. Because this, this show, this event is something that I've visualized on my head for a very long time. So, it feels good working towards bringing it to life. So real quick, I would, I would just go straight to the point. <laughs> so, um, I've um, we, I've we've gotten um, a graphic designer already. I've um, he's working on the graphics already, but um, we have issues with the dates. That's our major issue because I'm I'm trying to pick a a time when all the students will be available. But right now in, in the department, like from February, there'll be a whole lot of activities in the department. So we, we are shifting the date from March 25 to March 15. March 15 is like, um, there's, um, it's, a free, it's a free time from the calendar. It's like few few days before our exams. So that's, that's, that's for that. Then for the all, we'll have to write a letter to our HOD, the HOD of our department, and the DSC. I'm working on that already. Then another major thing, important thing, because during the process of the event, we'll be having a whole lot of content, like because we'll be, we are, I'll be having a full live rehearsals with a full band 
So we'll be rehearsing like twice a week. But every month we'll be having a major rehearsal at like a recorded in at the, in a studio, in a live studio. So now I'm thinking if the community will buy with this idea, if so it's like a sort of promotion to maybe there can be a like live streaming of our major rehearsals we'll be having every month, towards the end of every month. Just, just there'll be um two major rehearsals before the end of the show. That we have one major rehearsal by January, towards the end of January, and I'm down by towards the end of February. So I'm just saying probably there can be like um um a publicity so, um maybe on the metaverse or something where the our life people can see what we are working towards the the kind of show we are planning since the show is going to be streamed on metaverse so i'm thinking maybe um i didn't add that to the proposal it just the thoughts just came so maybe like in our major rehearsals it can be pre-recorded or something so it can i can send it to the community and maybe they can work towards something of making like a show again on the that's by the side so um, i think that's all for now but once once we um from next week monday we'll start a full we'll, the graphics will be ready and there will be a full um publicity will start full full and we also add um one um mustard mustard drink is a drink in is a drink in Nigeria, yeah. So they actually on that event they they might probably be bringing in some drinks for the guests. So and I would I would send a picture of the all. I'll send a picture tomorrow of the or Monday rather of the all. It's 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 like 500 capacity all. So it is going to be a full. It's it's going to be a very big something and it's trust me there's no. So well, I'm just trying to take it slowly, but from next week, the whole full process is going to start and you all are going to see. So that's pretty much what I have to say for now. Wonderful. Wonderful. So much, Larkin. Um, amazing. We're super looking forward to this event. And uh, I think this is the first time that NXM has um, supported supported an event like events because, you know, the scope is quite large and, you know, you had expressed in your proposal uh, the length of time that it will take for you to prepare and get everything set up. So I would just recommend that whenever you have sort of any updates or say, photos or whatever it might be, just add those uh, in a comment uh, to your proposal. So you can say, all right, we're going to update the, the uh, event date. So just uh, make make a, an adjustment the proposal um, you know get the photos whatever it is you want to do just kind of get that on there and then you can tag uh tag our, our council members there as well all right all right i'll do that wonderful wonderful all right so mike is open whoever wants to uh to come up next i, I think uh wiz prince uh, had his mic on there for a sec so wiz you want it you want to come up next yeah 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 good pm everyone um I go by the name of Sprint Adache. Um, I'm an Afrobeat artist, Afropop artist. So I'm a songwriter and I'm a singer. So actually, it's a big opportunity for me to be here with you. And I thank you all for putting me through, for being with me from day one right now. I thank you all. You guys have done a lot for me, like putting me through and everything. Uh, I thank you all. So um, my project, basically, um, I'm dropping some songs uh, at the NFT store with um, NXM. So um, I'm a good songwriter, Afrobeat. Like Vandal said, he enjoyed the last one I posted, yeah. So um, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna drop like three Afrobeat songs. Very good ones, very well written. Very one catchy ones that uh, guys can relate to. Um, so dropping it, it will be minted in the NFT stores, in the NXM stores. So this can be minted and for future, um, for future supporting other initiatives, you understand? So um, I'll be doing that through project. For now, I've gotten the producers on board and the project. I've communicated to them, like, 
this is my guy, Philkis. Yeah, Philkis. I communicated with him and um, the graphic designer, Bishop Graphics. Yeah, he's on board. So, so by sure, by Monday, I guess the project is starting up. So I'll be able to invite all of them and give them a studio location. So they come around and we we'll start working on the production. Then after the production, we'll move on to the mixing and mastering. We'll get a sound engineer that's going to work on the song and make sure the song is properly, properly mixed. And um, after the mixing, then the art cover, everything, then we do a one HD video among the song. We choose one and do a HD video for it. So shooting a standard video for it. And for now, with my support and guys, familiarity, guys I know in the industry, I'll just put the head together to work on this project and make it a success. And trust me, this is gonna be a very big, a very big one, because the songs are down and danceable, lovely Afro party songs, and it's gonna be very, very, very lovely. Thank you for having me on board. Thank you. All right, wonderful. Thank you, Wiz. Appreciate you, and uh, definitely looking forward to your project. Make sure also if you have any updates to then uh, add those updates uh, to your post. Um, you know, you can do that in the comments. If you need to edit anything, if there's any changes, maybe you can also add the details about uh, the people that you're working with, uh, the producer, maybe the studio, if you to snap some photos, whatever sort of documentation, I think it's great for you to share that uh, together uh, with the community. Also for the producers and the graphic designers, you know, if, if you feel like it would be beneficial for them to come in and join NXM and, and join the the various communities that we have here to open up other opportunities. There's the beat DAO, you know, they can get involved in doing some production. I know there's a, a lot of beat makers in here, you know, let's just crack it is, is in the house, you know, it's, uh, and a lot of stuff is happening. And today is, is a really special day around that, which I'm super excited uh, about coming up later, which is the near mixtape. Um, so let, let's keep the ball rolling. Uh, maybe Gabriel, you want to come up and talk about your project? Hello, this is Gabriel. Um, um, it's great to be here. I have to say, first of all, that um, I'm glad for the opportunity that NXM has given me, not just for um, the funds and stuff, but for kind of like bringing my my enthusiasm alive once again because for for a while i, you know, I kind of like slowed down and making music but it seemed that i needed a push and i got it from from being on nxm it's, uh, it's been fantastic i've been to the studios uh, this past uh let me see past month i mean since december Till now, I've been in the studios more than I, I have in like um, maybe in like two years, three years in fact. So it's been a great blessing to be here. So my project, it's it's an EP of three songs. I was fortunate to um, to put out a set for Mama J's birthday party earlier. I mean, late last year, and I wrote three songs for that um, that event, and those are the songs that will feature in my um, EP titled "Love, Light, and Peace." And I'm I'm very excited to to share the songs because I'm an evolving or should I, what's the I'm metamorphosing as an artist, you know. Shifting bass. I I used to be gospel, you know, total gospel. But you know, for a while now, I'm moving to to be a little more inclusive. And love, light, and peace will be my first body of work in this new direction, and, and I'm excited about it. So I have a studio session um, booked already. That will be Monday. So I'm going to be in the studio for Monday. It's going to be a pretty straightforward project because I have most of my lyrics down already. 
and I'm quite familiar with this, um, you know, the producer. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. I'm looking forward to it, you know, to explore new sounds, and uh, I'm sure that everybody is going to like it. I have a question though. Um, I I wrote it to Vando um in his DM. I don't think he has seen it in his DM just yet. The question is about um, emanate, for instance. If I put my songs on emanate, is it possible to put them elsewhere, for instance? That's the question. That's a good question. Um, for those who don't know what emanate is, it, it's a blockchain-based music streaming platform. Um, actually, it's very beneficial for, for artists who have um, music already to explore releasing it on, on emanate because the, um, the payment is quite a lot better than say YouTube or Spotify or, or the other music streaming platforms. So yes, it definitely is possible for you to release it anywhere you want. Um, the thing with emanate is they also offer, uh, the, they also offer artists the opportunity to use their traditional digital distribution services. I believe they're using DistroKids for this, uh, but that might be something that, um, you know, if you're already in um, the Emanate Telegram channel or in the Emanate community, uh, you can ask about there. Um, another thing is Emanate also has their own DAO. It's called the Moda DAO, and they're also offering funding for artists. So for anybody in here who is interested in looking at getting additional funding or, you know, have more ideas that they want to explore, I would recommend checking out the Moda DAO. Um, it's, if you want, I can share that in uh, the, the, the community chat um, uh, later on so that, um, you know, everybody can go check it out. Uh, these are just like, you know, it's important for us to share opportunities, even if it's outside of the near ecosystem, you know, uh, Moda is also working on uh, connecting communities. So yeah, I think to answer your question, Gabriel, uh, yes, you can. Uh, you're not limited or restricted uh, if you put your music on Emanate to just have it on there. You're free to do what you want with it. Good, thank you so much. You've been very helpful. And I have to say that although I haven't been here for a, a long time, I admire your uh, work ethic and um, cautiousness it's um, it's very refreshing thank you very much hey thank you gabriel appreciate that and you know um uh, hopefully all i can be is an inspiration to to all of you uh, out there you know that's that's the, the best that that i can do uh you know as the um as the nxm uh founder and and current leader and to be able to pass that leadership down and and inspire others um so let, let's keep it moving. I know that we have uh, Blue Simon. Uh, Blue Simon is in the house. If you would want to get up on the mic just to talk about your event, uh, the, it's, the floor is open. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes, we hear you. We hear you. Okay. So, hello, everyone. I am Blue Simon Vastin. I'm from Brazil. And I just moved this year to Sao Paulo. That is a very cultural city. I came from south in the island. So I was like a very... Uh, it was the same time that I came to Sao Paulo and I start NFTs. So uh, now I saw that it's possible to <laughs> do a live event and bring in these new things from Metaverse to, to actual like a physical place with audience and the place itself that I, I could find to make this event it's actually very interesting because uh, mostly of people never heard about NFTs and there is also like people in social vulnerability there like it's a kind of uh, dirty part of downtown you know so it's a theater uh, they mostly hold like a theater plays, but uh, it's open for multimedia performances and music shows. So we we'll do like a showcase of the NFTs from my store that is Nomad Label, that uh, my store has <laughs> uh, 
uh, big connection with uh, NXM because I earned it in a contest. <laughs> I earned this this store, so I'll be launching in a physical place the store with some showcase, and there will be artist talk with people from the the store, and in the end we'll do a live performance with improvised music from uh, this team that uh, I could manage to to be there because. Nomad Label has uh, parts in different cities, and Manucci Gus is here also. He will join us. I will meet him in person first time. <laughs> Say something, Gus. Hey guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. All right, all right. Uh, hello, I'm happy, hello to I'm happy to be here. Thank you, Blue. Thank you, Blue. <laughs> Thank you Vando. Thank you, Vando. Um, um, I've been, been doing a lot, doing of, a stuff lot of stuff around. around oh, oh, I'm listening, I'm listening to. Yeah, hold, hold. Um, Blue. <laughs> Blue, can you mute yourself for a minute? Yeah, just mute yourself, Blue. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Um, thank you for the opportunity. Um, I'm still learning all the all the things that that there is, but I think in six months I I I did a lot of things already, and now I'm working on some on a music project. Yeah, about ayahuasca dreams, about uh, some experiences that I had in my life. And try to to put this on the art. I've, I've I've not been doing music for some years, but I'm like I started I started on hip hop like 15 years ago. I was teenager at that time, and and now I'm, I'm trying to to get it back on track, and I I think that. I, I think this is this is all I have to say. Sorry, my my English is not very good. <laughs> Go. Yeah, no worries, uh, man. Uh, just to just to clarify, there is two two things that uh, Gus told about a project that uh, he is doing in collaboration. I think with John, right? And uh, he also will collaborate with Power Geek, so he will do the metaverse uh, support. Because uh, the event will run in two parts. Because we don't have like good computers to stream live, and there will be like artist talk in Portuguese because we are in Brazil. So we will have one week to make subtitles and uh, broadcast these on uh, DAO Records uh, parcel. So Gus do a lot of visual things, but he's very focused on these uh, metaverse related stuff recently so he do the, the the support for the online event beautiful and yeah uh, just uh, just uh, one thing Vando. Uh, before you say i will do a rehearsal in the in the theater and i will send you guys pictures of the place it's a very beautiful place Thanks again, everyone, especially Vando for all your work. And I will, I will be keeping updating you guys on, on the forum. Awesome. Okay, cool, man. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate you. Appreciate everybody. Um, you know, this is, it's been, it's been such an amazing journey. Uh, for NXM, you know, we started, it would have been, I, I think in February, I think it was February or March where we started just as a music guild with just a couple of people and we've grown so much to support so many amazing projects. And, you know, it's just been a blessing to, to be able to help facilitate that uh, for the, such an awesome community from around the world. Uh, so I appreciate all of y'all for like making the effort, making the time. 
be a part of this community. It means a lot. You know, community is nothing without the people and the activities and the communication between them. So definitely appreciate you all for that. Uh, Manut, also, uh, it's like you've got the Metaverse DAO as well. Do you want to just say a few things about the Metaverse DAO? All right. Um... Um, I'm working with the philosopher and John, and it's been really exciting. I've been, I've been able to, to, to do stuff, to do stuff. I never imagined in my life I would, would do now in metaverse. Like I, I have imagined some, some like this would happen someday, but not, it would be so fast, like it's in i feel very free when i'm building there like i can put any kind of of media and use that use the medias like pngs or gifs as part of the ambient and and building like uh, decoration stuff and do all put all that together it's a, it's a really nice experience and i feel very excited about the things that that ha have been happening through this and i think now we're gonna have some events on the parcel and the connection center and maybe we're gonna have some more more prizes and I, I'm not very good so, speaking about it, <laughs> but John and, and the philosopher are not here right now. They they are so much better in this than me, but I'm happy to be here anyway. Wonderful. Hey, uh, do you do you mind sharing that proposal again? Because um, I I remember seeing it in the NXM chat um, that you're looking for music. And, you know, since we have everybody in here uh, uh, on the call and in the chat, maybe just uh, share that again uh, for the community um, and then people can start to get more involved. Uh, you, you, you say about the, the my music project, Ayahuasca Dreams. Uh, no, the what the one about the request for um, for Metaverse DAO for the music. Hey, Vando, I will I will oh, find right. the link and I will oh, post right. in the in the okay. chat. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks, Blue. Awesome. Okay, so um, I guess we've covered all of our events, with the exception of NXM Live Nine. Uh, the ninth month, the ninth edition of NXM Live is coming up. Um, just for the, those of you who are interested, I'm not sure if uh, all of the uh, performers have been selected yet, but there is an NXM Live Telegram channel. And I'm going to share that in the chat uh, for everybody. Um, so if you are interested in getting involved in, um, wait, there's, is it public? I don't know if it's public or not. I don't think it's a public group. Okay, if you are interested, uh, we're gonna ping Alex uh, and the NXM live crew to get you added into that chat. But there are performing opportunities available to the community uh, for that. Um, I think at this point, since we've covered all the events and, and the projects that are coming for January, maybe we can open the floor to anybody who has anything they wanna share uh, or any questions, uh, the floor is open. So whoever wants to just jump on the mic and share, uh, the floor is yours. Hello, everyone. Everyone, um, this is Licious Crackit. Um, first of all, I just want to say I appreciate everyone in this in this meeting right now. I appreciate all your work. Shout out to everybody. Um, I just have um, something I want to say for emerging artists, young artists. I feel like this platform is already doing so much for independent artists and creatives. One thing that I really want to know is, so like when someone releases music or puts out music, I would really like to know the possibilities of us having some playlists done because that's like 
the height of things for new artists, being able to have listeners appreciate the music and everything. So I just want to know if um, there's any provision for playlisting for artists. So it will encourage artists to bring their music our way. Like a person like me, I'm a producer as well as an artist, a new artist, but I'm a producer. I've been producing for a while. I know like um, a lot of artists that would love to be um, on a platform like this, especially when they know that, I mean, at the least like thousands of people will listen to their music, you know, it is like a great step. So I, my question is, is there any provision for playlisting for young artists? Thank you guys. I think that's a, a really good question. And, and this is something that, uh, you know, has come up a few times in conversation is, uh, you know, how the artists in the community can leverage uh, their music and get more exposure, whether that's, you know, through uh, social media marketing campaigns or as you suggested, a playlisting. Um, I think that there are, well, currently there there isn't anything set up, but saying that if there are people in the community who want to work towards setting something like this up to help community members to get playlisting who maybe have some experience, uh, I think that there's an opportunity to do that. Currently, I don't think that we have any um, any members who are trying to set something like that up, but I know that um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Alpha 23, uh, he's very active in preparing his platform to help artists. So I think that this is something that he will be offering. And I know that we've, uh, you know, we're looking at how we can say, how we can uh, support our, uh, support members of our community for sharing, retweeting, commenting, liking, and interacting with each other's content. And if we can start to put together, say, a fund every month that we can allocate to, uh, let's call it like kind of like a bounty or, or sort of like a promotional bounty for people to then, you know, actively share each other's content, then we can reward people for sharing it. Uh, and I think that's a good start. Um, the, the other part is the services, I think, that are, that are very important for artists. Uh, and that's something I think that we would need, um, uh, you know, a dedicated person or a team, um, to set that up. But you're, you're right, Licious. It, it's something that is needed. And there's been a, a lot of questions around, you know, how can artists coming into this community, uh, get more exposure? So it's, uh, it, it's, it's open for somebody to come in and uh, get more involved in, in putting together. Uh, and also, I think, to use the governance forum uh, for a proposal. A proposal could actually be a request. It doesn't necessarily have to be something that you want to do personally or, you know, do together with the community. But it could be simply a request, you know, write a proposal request and say, Hey, can we, can we get this feature? Can we have this done? And then maybe more of members of the community will see it. Uh, you know, not everybody is in here in the call and, and not everybody's going to listen to the call afterwards. So I think, uh, you know, having it on the governance forum, it opens it up also to people outside of the NXM community and into the overall, um, near community who, could potentially um, help provide these services for people. So um, just to, to let you know, I think that these are the kind of thoughts that we've had already around this, but really great question. And I think it is very important that, that we start to think about these things as the community starts to grow even more. Uh, thanks, thanks for, for your update and, and also for your question. Uh, anybody else wanna come up, ask a question or uh, give an update? Or, uh, yeah, give an update. Hi. Hello, Vanda. Oh, sorry. Well, um, I'm El Kush, um, and I'm Afro artist from Nigeria. And um, well, I've been I've been with the C1 Guild since um, early last year, and uh, <laughs> I guess I wasn't paying attention at first. But stepping into this year, I've been really paying attention, and I think it's. It's wonderful what we artists get to um, 
achieve on this uh, platform i think it's it's really wonderful like um, the whole web3 ecosystem idea is it's a perfect way to liberate young artists especially from nigeria where we have uh, lots of um, hurdles to make it in the music industry and um, it also helps to build a, um, um, a good future for tomorrow for most entrepreneurs not just artists per se and um I'm I'm a, a member of the C1 Guild, um, headed by Dede, and um, I think I'll be giving a lot of energy uh, with the community with C1 Guild, and we're going to be putting a, a lot of effort to make sure that it's it's a big success. And Vandal, I was listening in the other day when you were having um, a conversation with um, J Boos on Instagram, and I think I, I really learned a lot that they it's it's unimaginable. Like it's really, really unimaginable and I think it's great. Yo, uh, thank you. Appreciate that and glad you had the, the opportunity to uh to, to tune into to that conversation. Um yeah, Jay Jay is like an, an old school head from from the Canadian hip hop scene, so it's so it's been a minute since we actually were able to uh, to have a conversation. Uh, appreciate that, and don't forget today later on uh, in about uh, I guess one hour and twelve minutes, uh, there's going to be another AMA on on Twitter, and that's going to be for the near mixtape. And I know that we've got a number of artists here on the call who are part of that mixtape. Um, so look out for that coming up. Um, anybody else want to get up on, on the mic and ask a question or give an update? The floor is yours. Hi, it's Gabriel again. I have a question. Uh, is it possible to have like a, um, like a quick explanation of how music NFTs work? Uh, I'm a bit stumped, you know, on that aspect i need some pointers on how exactly how music nfts work thank you sure yeah it's it's a good question um it it's a complicated one because an nft is actually really just a, a smart contract it's a it's a, a set of rules uh some code and it's really what you associate that smart contract with that gives it um i guess life so when you connect, say, a piece of music as an MP3, um, some text in the description, some other metadata, an image, and then there you have an audio NFT. Um, so an NFT in itself is really just a vehicle for information and for content. Um, and if you look at it that way, technically an NFT can be almost anything. Uh, so that's that's what kind of makes it confusing because you can't really define it aside from the fact that it's just code. Um, what you include with that and attach to the NFT is what makes it tangible and what we know as NFTs as currently. Um, as the music NFT, I think that, um, again, an NFT being a vehicle, you can do a lot more than just deliver music. Uh, with your NFT. Uh, and I think that we should look at NFTs as uh, like as part of a story, how they're interconnected. It's not simply just, uh, you know, one song, it gets released, it's an NFT, and then it's done. NFTs can be interconnected, they can, you know, um, work with each other, maybe not like, you know, in a way that it makes sense at the moment. But you know, say collect four NFTs, get the fifth NFT free. I don't know. Like there's, there's so many things that you can do with this technology. I think it's really exciting. But, but like you said, Gabriel, it's kind of difficult to explain because what are we explaining? Are we explaining the technical aspect of what an NFT is or are we explaining, you know, how it works? Are we explaining the minting process? Uh, you know, all, all of these things vary according to the platforms that we're using. 
Um, when it comes to minting NFTs, if you want to get more information about minting NFTs, uh, it really also depends on what platform that you want to mint on. Uh, mostly we're using Mintbase because it offers us the ability to do, uh, you know, music NFTs, uh, audio visual NFTs, and uh, it's, uh, it's here on near. It works smoothly. There's multiple uh, splits. So meaning that like all contributors to the NFT can then be given a percentage of uh, the royalty and of the sale of that NFT. So Mintbase does have a lot of documentation already about, uh, you know, how to mint uh, and what NFTs are on their platform. So if you're interested, I think that it would be great to jump into the Mintbase Telegram channel uh, and also Mintbase DAO. So Mintbase also has a DAO that supports artists. So again, like, you know, NXM is just one node in this ecosystem that is set up to support artists. I encourage all of you to explore all of the other communities and, and um, DAOs and guilds to see how you can benefit from not just NXM support, but say Mintbase support. Or, or, you know, um, metaverse DAO support or beat DAO support. So think about it like that. And I think, um, you know, uh, in terms of NFTs and music NFTs, there, there is a lot of uh, content out there uh, for you to, uh, to research and uh, just feel free to just like dive in. I know that sometimes it can be uh, a bit tricky or, you know, overwhelming because of the technology. Uh, but, you know, asking these questions, I think it is important. So thank you for that question, Gabriel. I hope that I helped to, to answer it. Yes, you did a great job. Thank you. Wonderful. All right. Who's up? Who's up next? Who wants to, to chat? I know we got John in the house. What up, John? Yo, yo, yo. And it's Sam. And it's Sam. Sam. <laughs> Yo, John, your 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 mic is sounding crazy. That maybe you just uh, jump. Yeah, who's that? Stereo. Yo, Stereo, what's up? Yo, 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 yo. I'm good. Yeah, I'm just um curious about something like. If Are you there? We can't hear you. Have a market space, you know? Does he have a market space for you know the NFT to deliver? Yo, can you hear me? Can yeah, you can, can you can you repeat that? Okay, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm just curious if NXM has a marketing space, you know, you know, personally for 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 the NFTs in the NXM store. Is there a specific marketing space for NXM? Uh, a good question. I think this fits also back into the the question about the, the playlisting and and the social media marketing. Currently, no. Um, currently, what we do have is the social media um, team, um, but we're also quite limited in terms of our, our funding A and B, our ability to promote. I think that the best thing that you you could probably do. Uh, in the time being before we're able to set up all of these uh, different, uh, I guess, uh, components to, to help assist artists and these services is to potentially connect with the marketing DAO. And then through the marketing DAO, maybe what you could do is identify, say, uh, a marketing um, team or somebody who can provide the service for you to market your work because everybody is it, it, we're all in different locations we all want to cater to different markets so i think that you probably know who you want to, to connect to so if you have somebody who you say okay it's going to cost x amount for me to hire this person to go and market my stuff you can go to the marketing down and you can you can put your proposal in and then you can get uh, the funding to then go and market your pro your project Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
that, that that sounds helpful. That sounds helpful. So just follow that step. Um, that's perfect. Thank you so much, Vanda. Yeah, no worries. And you know, we're still such um, like we're still such a young guild and DAO that uh, you know all of these services and and tools that artists need have not been established yet with NXM. And I think that again, like NXM is a community of artists and musicians uh, primarily. So what we need more people in NXM are people who can then help assist artists and musicians, those who can do the marketing, those who can you know, provide these additional services. These are the type of people that we hope that we can bring in to NXM so that then they can go, all right, let's do a proposal to, to offer marketing and, and services. Let's put a proposal to do playlisting services and that their focus is just handling that aspect uh, to help the community out. And that's, I think, what we do need next um, but it's important to find the right people who can help to do that. Us as artists, we ha this is where we all need help. We can't, uh, you know, do it uh, for ourselves as well as somebody who's dedicated uh, who could do that. So awesome. We're going to get there. All right. Anybody yeah. else want to jump on the mic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real quick. Um, I don't know if, if anyone can hear me. My loud and clear. Yeah, we hear you. All right, all right, let's go. So yeah, um, it's been a minute, you know, um, since um, I've been into, you know, community uh, management and uh, um, some other things crypto related. So I've not been uh, coming up uh, to the NSM meetings and activities, but I still see everything. So um, it's been going fine. I I was uh, looking at something, um, so I got this idea of uh, a doubt to doubt um, collaboration. So I want to start up um, with a concept of a tool. If uh, we can see the possibilities in C1 and NSM C1 slash NSM tool. So this is uh, going to bring um, users to NSM, I mean, users and contributors to NSM and also to the C1. So content-wise and pushing the brand, the name, <clears throat> we can also go as far as um, streaming these events to the Metaverse, which is my primary plan. So um, we're actually working with a kind of concept of uh, featuring different um, guilds in, in the team so that um, the whole guild, we can Actually, the, the DAO to DAO collaboration event, I think, will bring a kind of um, unity and more progress in real life with uh, the, the community. So, this, I actually had uh, this figured out with um, John S. And I think um, John S is, uh, you know, he's down. So, currently, I'm, I'm still establishing a live, um, a kind of a creative house in Lagos. So, um, yeah, it, it's actually cool that um, I'm glad to announce that I've gotten the space. So we're trying to fit it in gear and the rest. So we can have a kind of a center hub of, um, for near and uh, crypto, which is my actually the vision, you know, to help spread, divide the information and the, and the love around. And I'm really proud a whole lot of, um, you know, few, like a few dudes out here are actually, you know, um, reaching out to me and I keep spreading them with the information. I mean, that is exactly what we need. So I'm seeing the possibility. Uh, you know how it goes. I uh, actually had my first event, you know, yielded a lot, a lot, a lot of organic uh, growth, you know, from NSM to the C1 build, you know, to near as a whole. So if we can make this pop, so we have uh, granted our own. We're looking up to February. So this project involves um, involves um, um, El Kush, which knows, he knows Abuja very well. He, he's actually lived there. So he, we actually have the whole position of what it costs to make it happen. So C1 is uh, funding 2K for this event. So we are trying to feature as we, as we, as uh, NSM as we now, you know, so we can put the heads together and make this and make the brand, I mean, make it, make it a huge success. Um, if that if there's possibility of that, I know everyone can hear me, so uh, I just want to make it real quick. I mean, there are more details on it, but we just need to know if it's um, you know a possibility to make it pop. 
bless. Yo, much love, Dede. Appreciate you, man, and, and appreciate everything that you've been doing uh, in the community. And um, yes, the answer, I, I mean, you know, I say yes. Uh, I think everybody would be in agreement as well. I think this is an amazing uh, thing, and I think that we are starting to do more Dow to Dow collaborations. So uh, I mentioned in the chat, if you could, that, you know, let's get a proposal together. Let's put it on the governance forum. Uh, let's start the the uh, the conversation around it. Um, yeah, like I'm totally cool. And I think that, that it would be an awesome thing uh, for us to do. I, I also think that, you know, like I think there are a lot of uh, artists and people uh, in our community who are, are in Legos and then maybe Legos needs a monthly meetup. You know what I'm saying? Like where everybody just comes together, have a little cipher, have a get together, have some drinks, have some food, make this like a, a monthly event uh, just to kind of bring the community and all the people together to meet each other and to collaborate and maybe show little showcases or open mics. This, this kind of thing would be would be really awesome as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that is that is exactly the plan. You know, I actually love the idea of the near meetup. So um, we don't ha have much to worry now. You know, I'm glad because the resources are here and um, we have a location centered in the middle of Lagos. You know, so where everyone can you know feel comfortable to make it happen. However, we want to do it. I mean, it's great. I'm I'm super stoked to see where this is coming from and um, how far we are taking it. So what I'm trying to do is you know, to bring a kind of a unity hall um, from the uh, Nigerian um, community, you know, to still kind of spread the love across Africa so that um, there will be more participation, you know, um, in the ecosystem. So I'm glad, I'm, I'm, I'm glad and excited that uh, it's gonna pop up. I mean, it's something good. So I will just go back and um, then make further, um, arrangement with the team, right? So that um, this event is going to come up um, real good. So we're looking forward to kick start on February. So um, I'm, I'm on it and it's going to be lit. Nice. Definitely looking forward to it. Um, I, unfortunately, we've come to the end of our call time. Um, we're after uh, one hour already. Uh, I know probably there are still people who, you know, want to chat or, or have uh, questions or, or want to share something. So feel free to do this uh, in our chat on the NXM chat. Uh, feel free to share, ask questions there. Um, on that note, I'm going to end the call here. I appreciate everybody who's uh, come into the call. This has been probably uh, one of our most exciting calls of recent date. Um, there's a lot of activities, uh, a lot of good things brewing here with NXM. And I think that uh, it's gonna be a really exciting time as we move into you know, bringing the new council on board, having all of the various activities you know, underway. And as the community grows, uh, I think there are big things ahead for NXM and I'm super excited uh, to see where that's going to, to go. So thank you everybody so much. Appreciate you all. Have a beautiful evening, day, morning, night, wherever you are in the world. One love and uh, peace out y'all. Yeah, thank you Vando. Thank you. Bye. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Was awesome.